Good morning. You guys heard this song? I love it. I'm pulling up an email, so hang on. Okay, guys, I love that song. I'm pulling up an email that was um, It Is Well, the live version from Bethel, um, Bethel Music. So I'm trying to find an email because something happened yesterday and I wanted to share it with you. There it is. All right, so um, some of you know that I have um, done some events. I've done one event specifically for Soul Hope. And the reason that I found out about Soul Hope and started to get involved in it is because it's an organization that Young Living supports. And that's how I initially heard about it was last year at convention. So um, if you haven't heard me talk about it, Soul Hope, in a nutshell, is an organization based in Uganda. And what they do is they remove jiggers, which are sand fleas, from the mostly the feet, but other parts of the body as well. Um, and it's primarily in children. So what happens is the sand fleas get in to the feet, usually first, and they burrow inside the skin, and then they lay eggs. And as the, leg, as the eggs hatch, they come out, and then um, they look for a host. And so oftentimes what happens is they go right back into the same person, and so these sand fleas multiply. And they're called jiggers, and they're very painful. And not only are they painful, but they also create a stigma for the people that have them because the culture sees them as a curse. So the people are not only very uncomfortable physically, but they're also cast out. So, um, so that's Soul Hope in a quick nutshell. But the reason that I wanted to talk to you today is because um, while I support Soul Hope and I love what they're doing, I sent them an email yesterday. And so um, the purpose of this short video is to encourage you to make sure that where you're donating is a place that you really believe is doing the best thing with your money. Because as believers, especially, God has given us this money, and we need to be wise with it. And so, um, you know, whether it be um, cancer research or a charity organization or anything that falls in between there, I would really encourage you to look into the credentials and all the financial details that you can of the organizations you're supporting so your money is being put to good use. So um, anyway, so I wanted to... Um, I had an idea of what Soul Hope did. I've seen videos from them. I follow them on Instagram and Facebook. And um, I know that they, sorry, I'm pulling up their page real quick. I know that they do great things with their organization. And I know that it's run by a group of Christians. But I wanted to ask them a little bit more specifically what they actually do in terms of sharing the gospel. Hold on. What, baby? Right now. Just finish what's on your plate and clear it off the table, please. Sorry. Um, I wanted to ask them specifically what they actually do in regards to sharing the gospel. And so I looked on their page, and um, so what I found, if you want to look for yourself, it's Soul Hope. It's S O L E, like the soles of your feet. Um, Soulhope.org. And so what I found on their page was this, um, in their why, on their vision page, it says, we believe actions based on love and hope can change a nation. Our model for love and ultimate hope is that of the greatest servant, Jesus. We often get asked if this is a Christian organization. If you are asking whether we are registered with the U.S. government as a religious organization or if we hand out tracts to the people of Uganda, the answer is no. But if you're asking whether the heart behind soul hope is a heart given by God, if we love Jesus and try to serve him every day as he did, and if every decision Soul Hope makes is backed in prayer, then the answer is absolutely. So I liked that. 
Um, but I, I didn't feel like it was enough details. I really wanted to know specifically um, what they were actually doing to minister to the people there other than removing jiggers from their feet. And so, uh, so I, I sent them an email yesterday and I, you know, kind of explained, I have supported you guys through my Young Living team and we've enjoyed um, participating with you in that way. I also round up my Young Living monthly orders to go to Soul Hope specifically. Um, but anyway, I sent them this email and I just said, um, I read the paragraph on your about page as to your why, but is there any additional info you can pass along to me? Giving people shoes is wonderful and absolutely a blessing, but if they die with shoes on their feet, never having heard the gospel, the ministry seems fruitless as a ministry and functional solely as a philanthropic organization. So I really wanted to know, are you guys sharing the gospel with these people or are they just getting shoes is, is where I was going with that. And I want to read you the reply that I got because I just loved it. It was, it was beautiful. So, um, so this comes from Ashley at Soul Hope and she says, um, first, thank you for participating in a shoe party with your Young Living team. To answer your question, although we are not associated with a particular church, all of the Soul Hope staff are people who love Jesus. We believe that the best way to share Jesus with people is through a relationship with them. We create these relationships with all of our employees, tailors, shoemakers, night guards, etc. We also create these relationships with the chairman and children in the villages that we go to each week. We believe that Jesus spent his time with people who were considered outcasts here on earth and served them the best way he knew how, through both physical acts of service and spiritual teaching. We strive to do the same thing. Here's my favorite part. We are also able to share with the adults and children in Uganda about how sin and jiggers are very much alike. They both start small and oftentimes sneak into your life. Once they are planted, then they grow and start to cause problems in your everyday life. Luckily, there is hope for freedom through the removal of jiggers and through the removal of our sin through Jesus Christ. Thank you very much for asking about this, the most important part of why we do what we do. If you have any other questions, please let me know. I was just really, really touched by that email, and I appreciated so much that they answered with clarity and gracefully, because I, I know that that email that I sent could have been interpreted as kind of harsh. <laughs> um, but I just, I loved that response. And I wanted to share it with you because I want to encourage you to look into the organizations that you are giving to. Um, again, this is an organization that I do give to a small amount every month and we've participated in other ways. Um, but I, I just really want you to know where your money is going. And especially um, if you are a Christian, you really need to be um, careful about where you're giving your money because there are a lot of philanthropic organizations that are wonderful and they do fantastic things for people. But if people have food and clothing and shelter and they die without Jesus, it profited them nothing. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you today. I, I really loved getting that email yesterday. So, um, so if you have an organization that you support or a charity that you support, I would really suggest that you either, well, first look on their website and see what you can find. Um, and then send them an email and ask if there's any additional information they can give you. I know that I've given to organizations in the past without looking into that and later discovered that I really felt my money was wasted. So, um, so that's that for today. So, um, I hope you guys have a great Tuesday. And um, if you have a great organization that you give to that you've looked into really thoroughly, I would really love to hear what it is because um, we love to give in our family. And um, so I would love to hear if there's another organization that you feel is really profitable and really serving people. So um, we'll see you guys later.